every morning. Well, we're a couple of minutes behind today, but that's okay. We're always at the right place at the right time. We do a Monday morning mindfulness uh, stress relief session, and I'd like you to participate. Would you like that? I would. Uh, wonderful. So let us become quiet, become still, find yourself. If you're watching the show, we're on Facebook.com slash HLN TV show and on our YouTube channel, Higher Learning TV show. And we simply straight up, sit up straight in our chair, and I know I've got some people, including myself, who um, sometimes lie down because when I listen to Viata's show, I'm lying down. I don't get up out the bed because if I get up out the bed, I'll be busy, so I just lie there. So if you're lying down this morning, it's okay. But anyway, sit up straight in your chair, feet flat on the floor, nothing in your hands, nothing in your lap. And just have an open mind that this is the type of experience, this is just a small um, portion of what will be facilitated in the uh, kickoff May 1st of the Higher Learning Stress Relief Spa Experience. So I ask you to close your eyes and you will inhale to the count of five in your mind and you'll hold that breath for a hot second because at some point in time, you know, they say black folks don't swim. You might need to know how to swim and hold your breath. So we we practice holding our breath. So inhale to the count of five, hold it, and exhale. And all the time we're breathing through the nose, not through the mouth, always through the nose. So inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale through the nose. Oh, the body feels good already. You feel that in your shoulders, in your chest already? Inhale once more. Hold it. And exhale. Oh, that feels so good. Let's do it one more time. Inhale deeply. Hold it. And exhale. And as you continue to breathe in and breathe out, Counting on your own. Feel the chest expand as you inhale and feel your chest deflate as you exhale. And as long as you are breathing deeply, you will know that you are in the right place at the right time, experiencing the right thing. As we inhale deeply, we give thanks for the power of the breath, because someone, somewhere, is unable to breathe on their own. Inhale deeply. We give thanks that we are not on a ventilator, have a trachea in our throat, or need our inhaler right now, because we are depending on the source of the power that is within us, and we give thanks the power of the breath as we inhale deeply and exhale and just let that breath marinate throughout your body giving thanks for each and every organ in the body as we breathe in sending love light and energy to the top of the head and as we exhale bringing the breath the energy of the breath down through the face to the chin and to the neck and the shoulders. As you take your hands and grab your shoulders, rub your shoulders from behind, release some of that tension as you inhale deeply. And as you exhale, rub those shoulders, giving thanks for those shoulders, giving thanks for those fingertips. Feel free to Just touch the muscles in the back of the neck with the fingertips, giving thanks for the power of the hands because the healing is always in the hands. As we breathe in, and as we breathe out, take two fingers and pinch the back of the neck where the vagus nerve is, sending all of the love and light and more energy down through the spine to the spinal column. We give thanks as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, the power of healing the mind, which heals the body, is in your hands right here and right now. As we breathe in, 
And as we breathe out, sending more love and light and energy down through the chest, the sides of the body, the back, and the buttocks, and the thighs. Oh, yes, those big, warm, glorious thighs that keep us mobile as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, sending love and light and energy to the thighs and the knees and the legs, feel free to rub them, touch them, whatever you decide to do, showing your body how much you love it as you breathe in. Giving thanks for the breath as it continues on down through the ankles and the arches and the instep and the top and the bottom of the feet and the toes. Oh, yes, wiggle those toes as we inhale deeply. Bringing that energy back up from the toes, wiggling those toes, sending that energy of love and light and energy through the ankles, through the legs, all with the power of the mind as you are touching your knees and your thighs and your buttocks and your back as we breathe in. Sending that love and light and energy through the breath back up through the back of the neck as we inhale deeply. Bringing more breath back up to the top of the head past the face and as we exhale. And we take one more long, deep inhale, deeply. And exhale as we stretch and stretch and move that body and move those shoulders, giving thanks that we have the power of the breath in our hands. We can move and twist any which way we so desire because the breath, the force of life, is within us. And we so appreciate it as we breathe in, taking one more long, last, deep inhale, deeply. Hold it. And as we exhale, bring our face forward, chin to chest, and slowly rotate the head to the left, slowly, slowly, slowly. You should just be getting to the back. Slow down. You're moving too fast. And slowly moving the head around, rotating it to the right, and back around to the front. Head up. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, bring the head back down, chin to chest, and slowly rotating the head to the right, and slowly moving the head around to the back, slowly, slowly to the left. You should just be getting there, and slowly bringing the head back around to the front. Head up. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, look to the left as far as you possibly can, feeling a stretch in the right of the neck. And bringing the head back forward. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, turn your head to the right, feeling the stretch in the left of the neck. And exhale. Eyes still closed. Inhale once more. As you exhale with a great big smile on your face, sending love and light and healing energy to each and every part of the brain as it transfers the love and the light down through the heart and the liver and the lungs and the pancreas and the spleen and the spine and the systems within that work within the body without our even thinking about it. The digestive system, the assimilation system, and Lord knows the elimination system. We give thanks because, you know, some of y'all constipated, but we'll talk about that later. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Now, how does that feel? Yeah, that was really nice. That is something that you can practice. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. When you are stressed, and you don't have, you don't need five minutes to do it. You can do it in five seconds. And when you inhale, you simply, in this exercise, I always have you breathe through your nose. But when you exhale, if you had a little 
funk on your breath, like if you forgot to brush your teeth or had some garlic or some onion, got a little stank, inhale and exhale through the mouth. If your breath smells bad, Trump, promise me, they will move back. <laughs> and you can find more tips like that and testimonials on my YouTube channel, Zelda Speaks, as well as Zelda Speaks Mindfulness. I hope that's something that you can practice on a daily basis to release yourself of stress. What do you usually do, uh, Monte, Monte, when you are practicing relieving stress? Men are usually physical. Yeah. I mean, it's usually exercising, and I think that's always been kind of uh, a getaway for me. Um, now I've tapped into kind of herbals and stuff like that. Mm. You know, kind of what I like to do, whether it's lavender, chamomile. Mm. I see you know about some oils. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You know a whole lot of it, and we're going to talk a whole lot about it when we come back from this very important message break. And we've got uh, some very important messages for you, and the most important message today is that your breath can save you in times of chaos and confusion, and especially if that confusion relates to what you eat. So that's the topic of today. Are you a virtual vegan? Or are you a virtual vegetarian? Or are you just virtual? Which one are you? <laughs> so I want you to think about that. And when we come back from the message break here, we'll have some information for you that will help you decide what it is that you need to do for your life in order to make it um, the kind of life that you want. Because Montre will share with us what kind of experience that he's had as a result of becoming a vegetarian, so stay close. 